Hi Vinyl community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. This video is going to be dedicated to Bill Young at uh, Michigan Record Club. Uh, there was a thread started by Blues Vinyl Guy to show five psych albums and to help Bill, you know, lift his spirits. And I also, I heard about this from uh, Brian uh, Cosmic Brian. So, uh, yeah, Bill's not feeling too well. So, uh, I thought join in on this thread and hope him watching this will make him feel a little bit better. So, here we go. This is, I'm going to show 10 albums. Um, Bill has shown a lot of these albums and inspired me to seek them out and there are a lot of good albums here so I'm just gonna get right into it. So first one up here is this is Power Plant by the Golden Dawn. This is a Texas band. Uh, they play a lot of gigs with 13th floor elevators. Uh, this is on the International Artist uh, record label. This came out in 1968. Uh, really good psych, similar in sound to the elevators, um, but really good stuff. Uh, if you like psych, you might want to check this one out. It's a classic. It's, uh, the Golden Dawn Power Plant. Up next, another Texas band on the International Artist label. This is uh, Bubble Puppy. A Gathering of Promises. This is from 1969. Uh, they're probably best known for their song Hot Smoke and Sassafras, which is on this album. This is the only album they made um, under this name. This, these guys, after this, they uh, changed their name to Damien and released another album. Um, I don't have that one, but I'd really like to get a hold of it. But this is great. This is really good. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, country influence on a few songs, but the psych guitar on this is really good. There's lots of good uh, vocal harmonies, and it's just a great album all the way around. Um, if you like psych, you want to check this one out really good. This is the Bubble Puppy Gathering of Promises. Up next, yet yeah, another Texas band. This is the Conqueroo. This is another band that played around with uh, the 13th Floor Elevators and the Golden Dawn. Um, this, this is uh, from the Vulcan Gas Company, is the title of it. And uh, the the band used, that was like a concert venue in Austin, Texas, and the band used the place as a rehearsal space, and that's what this recording is. It's uh, uh, their rehearsal, and they never really released an album during the time they existed. This was, re this was recorded in 1968. And it was released in 1965, or I'm sorry, 1985. So, uh, yeah, this is a great album. Uh, their sound is closer to like the San Francisco bands, um, but really good guitar work on this is excellent. It's just so good. Um, thing about this is Bill showed this album and I didn't know that it existed. I knew about the band but I didn't know that they had uh, released anything at all and Bill showed this and like two days later I walked into a record store and I found it and it was just amazing to me that I'd come across it that quickly you know but great album really good psych if you like Psych, you want to check this one out to The Conqueroo. Uh, up next, this is 
Love Sculpture, Forms and Feelings. This features Dave Edmonds on lead guitar. Um, man, this is so good. Uh, really good guitar work from Dave. And the band's really tight. The songs are really good. Lots of great guitar on here. Um, the one song on here, oh, Saber Dance. It's uh, 11 minutes of just psychedelic bliss. It's just so good. A great album. If you like Psych, it's another one to check out. Uh, Love Sculpture, Forms and Feelings. Uh, next, this is a Savage Resurrection, their one and only album on Mercury. This uh, originally came out in 1969, I believe. Uh, a really good, fantastic site. Just great stuff. I mean, look at that album cover. You know, that's just so good. Really enjoyable album. Another great one. Inspired by Mr. Bill Young, The Savage Resurrection. Okay, up next we got Strawberry Alarm Clock, Wake Up, It's Tomorrow. This is their second album from 1968. This is a Sunday's reissue from uh, 2013. Uh, really good. Uh, it's as good as their first album, uh, Incense of Peppermint. Uh, maybe even better, I think. But uh, great psych album. Good, uh, good stuff from the 60s. Classic psych. Strawberry Alarm Clock. Uh, wake Up, It's Tomorrow. Now this one... This is one of my favorite psych albums of all time. This is The Pretty Things, SF Sorrow. This is the U.S. version with the die cut cover here. See, uh, really good. This was like the first rock opera. This came out, it was recorded in 68, but I don't think it came out in the U.S. until 69, but so good. Every song on this is just great. There's so many good songs on here. Uh, if you like the pretty things, which I do, um, you probably like this album. It's one of the best psychedelic albums ever made. And uh, if you see it, uh, you should grab it. Uh, it's a great album. SF Sorrow by the Pretty Things. Uh, next one. Classic Blue Cheer, Vincibus Eruptum, their first album from 1968, I believe. Uh, yeah, 1968. Uh, fantastic, just classic stuff. Summertime blues, um, just so good. Rock Me Baby, Dr. Please, Out of Focus, Parchment Farm, also good. Blue Cheer have a lot of really good albums. They have a few mediocre albums too, but this this is their first album. This is one of their best ones. So. A lot of people know about this. So. If you don't, check it out. It's a great album. Blue Cheer, Vince of the Up next... This is the Electric Prunes Underground. I might have shown this before, but great album. This is their second album from 1967. Uh, their follow-up to uh, I Had Too Much to Dream Last Night. Uh, really good stuff. It's classic 60s psych. I don't know what more to say about it. Um, I like a lot of their other stuff, too. Uh, but this album, one of my favorites by them, is uh, uh, Electric Prunes Underground. And 
finally, we got one more here. It's the Corridor of Faces by uh, Lazy Smoke. This is really good. This is uh, on Jackpot Records, released in 2017, I believe. Um, really good. Beatles like uh, songs. The songwriting is a lot like the Beatles, you know, and Beatles inspired is what I should say. Uh, but great album. Uh, guitar works fantastic. Just really good stuff. You know, if you like psych, oh, this was probably uh, originally like a private press and then it was reissued. Uh, somebody discovered it and then they reissued it and then it's great. It's a great album Great album to have if you like psych. So check this one out So that's it. I just wanted to do this quick video Dedicated to mr. Bill young at uh, Michigan Record Club um, Stop by his channel uh, Leave a comment on one of his videos, you know just to say hi and help lift up his spirit so Bill if you're watching this we're thinking about you we hope you get better soon and take care and uh, we'll see you all later so